Welcome to Tokyo and our preview of the final of the 2013 Rakuten Open and we've got two big hitters, one Martin Del Potro taking on Canada's Milos Ranić, Nick Lester uh, alongside Robbie Koenig and uh, Ranić, uh, Rob, really is the man of the moment, isn't he? He certainly is. Uh, he's been playing some incredible ball. The serve has been unbelievable. In fact, he hasn't been broken at all this week. Last week in Bangkok, it was more of the same. But of course, Del Potro as well has been serving exceptionally well. So of course, the most important for for both of them tomorrow is that they come out serving well. If they can lay the foundation for the game, everything else will follow thereafter. New coach brought on board by Milos Ranić in the last couple of months or so. Ivan Lubacic, of course, a fantastic pro uh, in his own right. Seems to have made a, a significant difference. Well, it's a, a significant difference, but it's an important one. It's subtle. He's forcing uh, Ranić to play a lot more aggressive, especially from the back of the court. He wants him standing up on the baseline and not hitting the average rally ball. We saw how effective it was last week and again this week. It's more of the same and especially when coming up against Del Potro, that aggressive mindset is going to be very important. So forget about the serve. Let's worry about from the back of the court battle. That's going to be key for Ranić. And of course, for Del Potro as well, he's not going to be allowed to be passive. If he's passive, then Aranich is going to assert his authority over him. Hmm. Conditions here in, hmm. in Asia generally pretty quick, especially here in Tokyo. The return, therefore, could be key. Uh, does either man have an edge in that department? Yes, uh, I do think Del Potro has a, an important edge in that department. Uh, he's a, got a lot more control with uh, the backhand return in particular, and I think that's going to be uh, the decisive part of their respective games. So whoever's going to return better, Nick, is probably going to end up the winner in this one. It's not rocket science. But I think I'm going to give uh, the edge to Del Potro in that department. In fact, last time they played, that wasn't a very important match in Canada as well, wasn't it? Yeah, slightly controversial one yeah. as well. You'll remember with uh, Milos's foot touching the net, he owned up to it. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, afterwards, it was fairly obvious for all to see. He did win that match, though, so that should give him a slight edge, you would have thought. Well, yes, he did win it, but I think conditions are a lot different here in Tokyo. Let's not forget, first of all, uh, Raonic was playing in his own backyard, had the support of all those Canadians. Uh, secondly, Del Potro was slightly injured in that match. He was suffering from a back problem that happened earlier on in the tournament. And of course, the net incident, which really did annoy Del Potro, really uh, got inside his head a little bit. And uh, after that incident, in fact, he lost five straight points, ended up losing that second set. And it happened at a crucial juncture in the second set, which changed the whole dynamic of the match. Uh, and that's not going to happen here. None of those things uh, are going to be in Milos's favor. So that's why I think the cards are slightly in favor of Del Potro, despite the head to head. So uh, if I were a betting man, I'm probably going to go with the Juan Martin Del Potro. But it's going to be a very, very tight one, Nick, given how well both guys are playing in all departments of their game. Del Potro's dominated the 500 series. He's won two already. Ranić is chasing a spot in the World Tour Finals in London as well. Should be a good one. Rob and I will be commentating. Catch it 2 o'clock local time on TennisTV.com.